What's going on, Clan Fam? Back at it again with some more NBA 2K25, my GM mode. My GM, I don't even know what my GM's name is. I haven't seen anything. Um, we're rebuilding the Chicago Bulls. Josh Giddy is in that locker room. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Just jogging along. I mean, I don't know when my board meeting is. I'm uh, kind of nervous about that, to be honest with you. So, in the last episode, the owner, Eugene Pettit, told me that he uh, he wanted me to go get some draft picks. Let's take a look and see. I don't even know how many draft picks I have right now. Future draft picks. He wants us to have five for this year's draft. As of right now, I have one for this year's draft. So we're going to have to make some moves. And get five first round picks. It's gonna be it's probably gonna be hard. It's not gonna be the easiest thing. But we're gonna get that thing done. Let's go ahead and sim through this week. We're gonna have the computer adjust the rotation because I'm not really worried about it. And Kevin Herter, who we just traded for, has torn his left Achilles. He's gonna be out for six to eight months. I'm not really concerned with winning games right now. I I'm not. I'm just focused on rebuilding this team. This season has no effect on on anything. I, I'm not worried about how we do this year. I, I want us to lose. I want us to lose games. A legal trade? We're going to add a trade exception. I don't care. We're going to make things happen. Going to make things happen. Um, I, like I said, I don't care what happens this season. I don't care that we if we lose all 82 games, which we obviously aren't. If we lose 70 games, I don't care. I don't care. I, this season means nothing to me. So we're going to go talk to our CFO, see what he has to say. Hey, thanks for coming to discuss the fan night proposal. You got it. So tell me a little bit about what the team wants to do. Well, basically, we'd like to really go all out and take out a bunch of ads and social media for an extended push towards the fans, capped off in a huge giveaway. I'm confused as to why the morale went down for him. What sort of giveaway are we talking about? We want to give everyone that attends over the next while entry to a raffle to live with the team for a month. All expenses paid. What? Live with the team? Wow, that's a pretty crazy gift. The fans will love it. What would the cost be? Well, that's the thing. It's a lot. It'd basically be the cost of would be a bonus staffer for the year hell no 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 i'm trying to think of all the logistics here have the players or governor heard about this have they given the green light no we know how things work in the organization boss the org for big stuff like this you've got to champion it or else it's going to fade out of memory in someone's inbox along the way fair point but it does sound like you're trying to get me to do a lot of the heavy lifting in addition to green lighting the expenses here exactly what the hell yeah huh well at least i appreciate your honesty can you at least tell me a little more about what we expect the results will be on this sure i guarantee attendance will rise dramatically over the next month or so Something like 5% more fans in the stands? Jesus, we're not even going to win this year. Why would the fans want to come watch us? It sounds like it should pay for itself then. Are you so sure of its success you'd be willing to put your bonus on the line if its attendance doesn't improve? If attendance doesn't improve? I think we're on the cusp of a winner, but we can take it even further. Have we possibly investigated reaching out to local partners to be involved? Hey, thanks for explaining a bit more, but I still feel like it's a bit much for us to spend at the moment. Uh, I don't really care about the CFO. He sounds kind of weird. So, no worries. Thanks for digging in a little bit at least. Yeah, we're not spending... If we spend that kind of money, I don't give a crap about 5%. You should have told me... If you would have told me it would have been a 50% increase on attendance, I would have been on board. But this, sir, no. Let's see what the Hawks want for this pick. They want Patrick Williams and a first-round pick in 2029. I think we will be able to do that. 
Yeah, let's do it. I'm not a big fan of Patrick Williams anyways. Chris Duarte. And we get Patty Mills. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds good. Let's see what the Warriors want for that. All right, we'll just do a straight, a straight swap. See? Sounds good. All right, so I got... I got the first round picks, Eugene. Got anything to say? I got your picks for you, bud. That is a glass window. You ain't got nothing to say? Nothing. Okay. All right, we'll just move on to next week then. So apparently the CFO wants to talk to us again. Not really sure what he could want. Probably another scheme or some shit. What do you want, guy? Afternoon, thanks for swinging by. So, you've read the overview on the superfans, right? Briefly, I understand we have some rather enthusiastic fans calling themselves The Squad. The Squad? Okay! That's a name I can get behind. They've been making a pretty big name for themselves streaming while tying themselves to our brand. Mm-hmm. We also had them on the payroll early on to help run some fan nights in addition to streaming for us. And so their contracts come up again for renegotiation. Oh, jeez. Right. Well, they seem to be pretty effective in the general... F Can we maybe do some editing here? Well, they seem to be pretty effective, and they general fan base... It's the general fan base seems to love them. So what's the problem, then? Well, there's some internal discussion that the squad is benefiting far more from this arrangement. They get to use our logos freely and signal boost off of us to advertise. Oh, boy. And some folks feel that the deal that we're paying them isn't completely fair for us, is what you're saying? Yeah, at this point, those are dollars that our marketing department could be using elsewhere. I guarantee a short-term boost to attendance if we slash their rates on renegotiation. Hey, I'm down for that, man. We're the Chicago Bulls, damn it. We don't just hand our logo out to people. Let's play hardball. Slash their rates. I'll leave the renegotiations to you and look forward to seeing the savings reflected in the team ledger. What's your take here? I think I could probably take point on the negotiations and get them to do it for free in exchange for a few stream and podcast appearances from yours truly. Hey, yeah, let's do that. I would not mind doing a podcast. Wow, I think they'd really go for that. The clout they can get from having an actual GM would be a massive boost to their stream. Right, plus I think it'd be a pretty fun way to help our fans put a face on our franchise. It's win-win. I'm, fr I'm so freaking smart, man. I'm so freaking smart. We're going to up that charisma. Michael Stauffer and Benjamin Hamilton, the CFO. The CFO, dude, he's, he's always wanting to talk about something. What do you want, dude? Hey, thanks for dropping by. No prob. What do you want to talk about? Your message was a little vague. Well, you know that I love numbers and spreadsheets. I initially took the position because I love the city and it sounded like a challenging role. Oh, no. Are you about to quit? Uh-huh. But, you know, I don't really know that much about basketball itself. And seeing everyone get so excited and chattering about playoff predictions and trade rumors, I'd like to learn more. Ah, so you're trying to fit in a bit more. Well, it's not just that. I see all the clips we post to the team's social media, and it looks really cool. But when I watch the game, I feel a little lost. Well, hey, if you want to learn more about the sport, you've come to the right place. I can go over the basics with you tonight. Oh, uh, no. That sounds like a date. You can come. Uh, not to say there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying I, 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 I'm I, not into Benjamin Hamilton. You can come watch the next game with me up in the booth. I'd be happy to explain as we go, and I think you'll love the atmosphere the crowd, the home crowd can bring. That's great you're trying to learn, but I feel like Coach would. No, we're come to the game, man. Come up in the, come up in the booth. Wow, that's mighty kind of you. I'll take you up on that. I'll see you there at the next game. Sounds good, man. Hey, listen up. I'm fine with it. I got an extra seat or two in there. It ain't no big thing. All right, Michael Stauffer. What does old Michael Stauffer got to say? Morale's a 45. Oh, man. Thanks for coming so quickly. Yeah, I've heard that before. Never. I think we need to get ahead of this. Get ahead of what? There was some leaked footage from one of our practices. Oh, no. Oh, that's not great. What was on the footage? A bit of a scuffle between the starters and the second unit. Oh, no, we got a Draymond Jordan Poole situation going on. Things got chippy after a few hard fouls. Wasn't an outright altercation, but definitely not a good look for the team. Let's have a meeting with the players. I care more about how they feel and how they're doing here than the media's reaction. 
We need to go into damage control. Is there anything we could try? Anything we could try and bury this with online? I think I need to handle this myself. I'm going to see if I can make a guest appearance on any of the sports shows that will pick this up. I know the personnel of our practice gyms inside out. I'll find the leak and take care of this, and I'm sure this will die down with time. We don't want to give give it wings by overreacting. I see. That's a smart approach. To be honest, I think it would help make them feel better if they know that practice can be kept private. Great. I'll get to work now. Thanks for flagging this up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go find the leak. Oh, no. Oh, no. Three dots. That's never good. Hey, you... You there? Oh, sorry. Was just doing a little meditation. Oh, thank God. I thought he was about to say uh, my plan didn't work. You were looking right at me with your mouth moving. Haha, ha, just reciting some Zen scriptures to myself. I've been really big into focusing on the mental side of things. Interesting, and does that relate to why you wanted to chat? Bingo. I've been reading Phil Jackson's memoirs, and I really think there's something to his approach. You're... you're you're speaking my language here, Stauf. You're speaking my language. I think we need to spend some time in practice to better deal with mental health. Agreed 100%. You know, uh, Phil Jackson, uh, big fan of that guy. That's very new age of you. What do you want to do exactly? Tai Chi, yoga, maybe just chat about philosophy? I just need you to lower the amount of time they practice on the court and we can make it happen. Ooh. Lowering practice time. I don't know. I don't think that'll work well. Sure, just make sure they send gift baskets my way for the easier schedule. Listen, I know I told Zach Levine earlier in this in this uh, season that he was bringing some problems. But you know what? Now that Michael Stauffer talks about it, mental health is really important. He said Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson's name is up in the rafters at the United Center. He's the only coach to ever win an NBA championship for the Chicago Bulls. So whatever Phil Jackson has to say is probably uh, probably correct. I don't care that he left the Bulls and went on to coach Kobe and Shaq. Anyways, hey, you got it. Just let me know when you've officially changed the training schedule. Whatever. I don't know why I have to do that. I am, again, the general manager. Freaking A. Michael Stauffer wants to talk to us. What do you have to say, boo? Oh, I guess I wanted to talk to him. Hey, boss, you wanted, you wanted to wanted to talk to... What? Am I reading this right? Am I having a stroke? You wanted to wanted to talk about something? Michael, bro, is this Zen stuff working for you? It sounds like you uh, don't know how to speak. Yeah, I was just hearing some idle banter from the team, and they mentioned something about you binging a new show. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's this show called Meet the Worms. It's a sitcom set in a high fantasy setting, so there's magic and hijinks abound. Ah, awesome. Though, is it true that you've gotten through the first three seasons over the past week while you've been here at the facility? Haha. Ha. Once I get to the end of an episode, I just have to watch the next. It's like a potato chip. You can't stop at just one. Um, excuse me? You just told me you were all about the zen. Now you're talking about watching a TV show while you're at the facility on my dime? And why exactly do you think it's acceptable to slack off on company time and binge TV shows? The players aren't going to respect a coach that acts like that. I know you appreciate frankness, so I'm going to be direct. I think you're setting a bad vibe and precedent for the team, slacking off to them as they bust their bunts in practice. Yeah, we're uh, we're going off. I don't appreciate your tone with me. It was the players that actually recommended me to watch this, and I've been trying to catch up to better connect with the players. Oh, fuck. Well, I... I'm not done. If you have an issue with me, Come in and treat me with respect and we can have a conversation. You will not talk to me like this again. Or you're going to be finding yourself a new head coach. Oh, jeez. Things are going downhill with me and Michael Stauffer. I knew it. I knew it would come to this at some point. You're right. I jumped to conclusions and I apologize. Or 
I'm not your friend. I'm your boss. Even if you were doing this to connect, I've been hearing whispers from staff and players on the team angry with you over this. Okay, let's start a little rumor. That sounds good. Well, why don't they come talk to me? My door is always open. <laughs> Equal parts fear of retribution and not thinking it's their place to say anything. It's my job to be the boogeyman here. It sucks, but it has to be done. You're really going to put it on the players to come and talk to you when it's something you did? It sucks. It has to. It's got to be done. I, I see. Look, I still feel like you could have come at me with a little more respect. But if I'm really losing the locker room over this, I guess you had to be a little blunt. Yep. Again, I'm super sorry for coming off too harshly. I just know how much we both love the team and want us to succeed. Are we cool? Yeah, man, we're cool. Just do me a favor and let me know if you hear any more follow-up after this. Will do, guy that looks like he's from, uh, he, he looks like uh, the older brother. He looks like Buzz from Home Alone. Good God Almighty. <laughs> All right, well, with that said, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm having a blast playing this. I wish there was a little more talking. I love the dialogue, but hey, I'm having fun doing this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You fucker!